If you are a businessman or an entrepreneur who wants to launch their own food delivery app with multiple vendors, you have come to the right place. Hi guys, this is Pargat. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And today in this video, I'm going to walk you through our highly advanced and white label ready to use multi-vendor restaurant management solution with mobile apps integrated with our last mile delivery solution as well. If you want to build your own branded food delivery solution like DoorDash, Talabat, Grubhub or Uber Eats, do watch this video till the end. So I will be starting with our highly advanced admin panel with a robust dashboard which gives you everything you need to run, manage and scale your food delivery business. So without any further ado, let's start with the demonstration of the admin panel. Here you can see the three options of delivery, dine-in, takeaway various categories and here are our top vendors and various offerings we will start with our admin panel by logging in with admin credentials and then we will see the option of control panel and this is our main dashboard so we have a lot of options here we will start with profile and then go one by one so on profile, you get to set your logo and your basic credentials. The important part is the time zone, which is important for correct push notifications and your country. This is the country whose country code will show as default for website and mobile sign up. Then we go to customize. On customize, you see a lot of options to customize the platform according to your needs. Starting from the top left, we have uh, the admin panels dark and light theme options we will stick with light theme for this demo then we have our second option of date and time formats then we have the option to add multiple languages we have to set one primary language and then we can set additional multiple languages there are a lot of languages in the system then we have our primary currency and then you get to choose your additional currencies as well we will stick with INR for this and then you have your distance to time calculator. This is used to estimate the preparation and delivery times. In this system, you can have various types of vendors. You get to select this option on a per vendor level as well. You can also authenticate users by email and phone. This can be set as a compulsory requirement. You can also allow the order to be editable by the driver. Also here you see the option of vendor registration documents. So as the vendor signs up, you can require these particular variables. It could be a text, image, PDF or a multi-select option. Then here are your tags like veg, vegan, non-veg. You can create dynamic tags and assign them on a per product basis. Then we have the option to allocate your custom domain to customize the platform. You can link your iOS and Android apps here. Also, you can add your social media links here for various different social medias to be shown on the website's footer. And then here is the nomenclature for various options in all the different languages we have set here. So as you add more languages, you will get the option to set more nomenclature variables. So you can set different terms for your vendors. You can call them restaurants, you can call them food chains, however you want it. And there are multiple options for various different variables. Moving on, next we have is app styling. Here you have the option to modify and customize your app. And here you get to change the font styles. Here you get to change the base and primary and secondary colors. You also have five options, five different options for your tab bar. And then there are four different options for your homepage style. Uh, the last one is the most latest one and this looks the best. Otherwise, it's a simple pull to refresh. So you can select a different demo and just pull to refresh on your app and the template will change. Here are your tutorial images which show up for the first time when someone installs your app. Here are the options for web styling. Here you have the option of setting a favicon, your primary and top header colors. You can give your users the option to have day mode, night mode or both. And here are some customizations of how you want your platform to look like and then you have your various home page template styles uh, we have the third one which is the most latest one and then we have the contact us section if you want to have age restriction pop up if you sell products like you know which are illegal in some territories like cannabis etc 
then you have your home page sections you can drag and drop these sections you can rename them as well i can show you an example so these all different sections can be drag drop and there are multiple other options like you can also place dynamic html as well moving next you have the option to create multiple dynamic pages for example we have here terms and condition privacy policy we have the option for a vendor registration page to show you as an example this is how the page will look like and here are the various variables that you can ask your vendor to fill going next we have the option to create an faq page as well so here you can add different questions and answers and this is how the faq page looks like going next you can also customize your emails for a new sign up a new vendor sign up or forgot password and otp so you can modify these text according to your needs similarly in the content management system we have the notifications so you can change the text of these notifications as well moving to the heart of the system the catalog so here you set up various categories of your platform you can create them in n level of hierarchy so you can set this as a sub category of another option as well and you can drag and drop and change the sequence as well so when you create a category you get to add the title of the category in multiple languages english spanish arabic for us and we can add more languages this category once clicked can show vendors or products or subcategories and then you can decide what will happen on the subcategories click as well and you can also set if this is a subcategory of some other category then we have the variant options so the variant options is needed sometimes for food demos and sometimes it is not so you get to option create multiple options for your variants for example you can offer different weight sizes different sizes Uh, but you know this is a, just a nice to have feature the system will work just fine without this and then you have brands as well and then you can associate products with these brands going to the configuration so the first option you see here is the hyper local option so this is what decides if you want to show your vendors to just the users that are being served by that vendor or everyone so if you disable this then the platform works like amazon where you see all the vendors all over the place and if you enable it then it works like uber eats or zomato where you only see the vendors that serve to your area and once you enable it you get to set a default location in case you do not get the location of user's device then the vendors are shown based on this default location moving on then we have our social login option so you can have facebook twitter google and apple logins and set up their keys here dynamically then you have the option to set up your google maps keys your sms configuration for twilio and other services to send messages to your users then you have your smtp credentials to send emails from the platform you also have the option to have customer support through zendesk and also you will need to configure your firebase notifications to send push notifications here are a lot of custom mods that we offer in the platform and we keep building more and more of these mods every other day so so there are some mods which are enabled and for example you can isolate a single vendor order so these are the relevant ones to food delivery and isolate single vendor order so only you can order from one vendor otherwise if you disable this the system allows you to order from multiple vendors as one order and then you have the option to toggle tips before or after the order you have the option to provide subscriptions uh, there is a product order form minimum order and batch increment you know there is a max safety badge that shows on vendors so here are a lot of options which keep on getting added as we go then we have the taxation of the platform here you add a main tax category and then you add sub taxes under that category and the rates accordingly and these taxes are then allocated on a per product basis so when you create a product you set which tax category applies to it then you have payment options so these are the multiple payment gateways that we have in our system as we go we keep adding more and more of these payment gateways and if you work with us we offer one custom payment gateway included 
then we have our delivery options so for last mile delivery we have royo dispatcher which is our own in-house solution which provides you with the last mile delivery solution with the driver app and the complete oversight management and driver payouts but if you want to have a third party solution like lala move dunzo or ship rocket and then you can have those as well so you can enable them work with their representatives and get your api url and api key and also you can override the fares that you get from Dunzo, for example, and you can set your own fares. Moving on next to some marketing features, which are your web and mobile app banners. So these are the ones that show on the home page. You can set a certain duration for these, enable them or disable them. And similarly, we have mobile app banners. You can enable them, disable them and also set them if they will target to a vendor or a category once a user clicks on them then you have our promo codes so we have a very powerful promo code management system so once you create a promo code with a title short description then you know you can set if it's a percentage discount or a fixed discount and uh, and you can also set expiry to this promo this promo can also allow free delivery and can only apply on first order if you want also you can set if this promo code discount will be paid by the admin or the vendor so if it is set to vendor then the discount will be deducted from the vendor otherwise if it is paid by the admin then the vendor will get the full payment then there are other variables like minimum and maximum amounts the limits per user a total limit and also you can set the promo code to public or private so if it is public any user can see it once they're in the cart if it is private then the user will have to en enter this promo code manually and this is and this promo code can be restricted to a vendor or multiple vendors or products with the restriction being to include or to exclude and moving on next we have our loyalty options so in loyalty options what happens is that we have multiple plans and the base plan has to start from zero points so that the user can start earning points and uh, so this is the amount of earnings of loyalty points that they will earn with every order and uh, this point is directly proportional to the amount of order so if someone has ordered for 100 INR then they will earn 10 points because the ratio is 1 to 10 and uh, so on so forth so you can change this dynamically and you can keep increasing the amount of points they earn with the newer plans and once they earn points you can set that those points are correlational to how much money how much real money so you can set that one point means one dollar or hundred points mean one dollar so you can set that here then there are some tools that we offer so these tools are to copy the vendor to another vendor and also we have the option to apply certain tax category to certain product category in mass in one go and also we have an option to upload multiple images here in case you need to host images on this platform and use them elsewhere so these are main options of the system which you need to configure to get it working now getting to the main system which is the multiple vendors list so for this demo we have five different restaurants starting with let's say the golden spoon and uh, so in the golden spoon you see their catalog you see the settings that they have um, starting from the top it is the order preparation time so it is a default preparation time that you know we will show the user and we will add their distance and give them an estimate delivery time based on this then we have 24 seven availability. If you switch it on, then the platform is available all the time. If you switch it off, then you have to enter multiple slots and you can enter separate slots for dine-in, takeaway or delivery. So a restaurant might offer dine-in till 8 p.m. but takeaway can be offered till let's say 10 p.m. So we give full flexibility for each day of the week. Then we have our slot duration. So each slot, so once you're scheduling an order, uh, we give the customer the option to schedule it in multiple slots so you can set the slot duration to any time here so if you are offering from 9 a.m to 9 p.m so your slots will look like 9 a.m 9 15 a.m 9 30 a.m and so on and then there's an option to auto accept order so as the order comes it will automatically accept it and will not wait for the vendor to accept it otherwise they can uh, they will the system will wait and the system will auto reject the order in certain minutes. So for example, after five minutes, the system will auto reject the order. 
and then you have the option to offer returns or not and uh, so there are the absolute minimum order value so below this value we will not allow the user to place an order here are some options for the admin to set for this vendor if you want the vendor to show their profile details their email and all on the vendor page or not and here are the commissions for the admin so the admin can charge the commissions in percent or fix per order or the admin can charge a bonus service fee on top of the order value so this can be in percentage as well next we have the category setup so you can set which categories this vendor can add products in this is also only visible for the admin so here are some templates i will show you so once you go to the vendor detail page so this is the template which is categories plus products so this is how your vendor detail page looks like and here are all the products i will sh disable 24 7 availability and show you the calendar as well So on the configuration page, you see weekly slots. So starting from, so you can set like from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can set this for certain days. Let's say all the days for dine-in, takeaway and delivery. So this is how it is set. You can disable it for a certain date that for this date, you want a different schedule and whatnot. And then you have multiple tables and you can create their table names and offer this in table booking option when the user selects dine in. Then you have their categories and add ons. So here are the categories. If you allow that the vendor to add more categories of their own, they can add their own subcategories. It's a similar flow. And uh, next we have the add on sets. So the best example of add on sets is what you see on Subway. So when you order from Subway, there are multiple options for veggies. There are multiple options for sauces. So you can create all the different options. You can set a price and you can offer minimum and maximum uh, range for selection. So you can select the minimum amount of values that the person has to select. So in the add on sets, the most common example would be Subway. So once you create an add-on set, you can create the option name, then you can create multiple options. Um, for example, for different sauces, you can set a certain price for them and you can select the minimum and maximum range. So how many options the person can select maximum of these and how many options the person has to select minimum. So this is how it works and you can add each of these names in different languages in Spanish and Arabic. Then we have the payout options. So here for payout options, we have Stripe checkout. So the person has to connect to Stripe first. So the vendor has to be connected to Stripe. Stripe does their own KYC. And uh, once that is done, you can request payouts. You can also request payouts off the platform. And so here you see a brief of all the lifetime order value, the admin charges, the discounts that have been given by the vendor and any past payouts from the platform. And you have this many available funds and you can select a payout for off the platform for stripe option you have to connect to stripe and then you will see that option here as well so you can select any amount that is less than the available funds so this is how the vendor looks like going on to the product detail page So when you create a product, you create the product's name and a URL and SKU is generated based on that. I will just show you for example. So for example, if you create a product and if you want to offer a cheeseburger. So the SKU and URL slug are generated and you can modify the, these at your own terms and you can assign them a category. And once you go into the product detail page, you see the SK URL slug, the category, you get to add the product name and description in multiple languages. And that you can see here. Here are the SEO meta titles, keywords and descriptions. And here is the, here is the pricing information. So there's a price, there's a compare at price. If you want to show a certain discount, then you can track inventory or just not track inventory. And uh, you can, you have also the option to sell if it is out of stock. You can also set the minimum number of orders that you can place. So if, you, if there's a product that you want a minimum order to be of five and the increment to be of two, so you can do that. 
then there are some other fields like new and featured so the admin can mark a product new and featured these are not visible to the vendor then you have the option if the product requires last mile delivery so there are some products that might not require a delivery and uh, there are products that will require so in that case you have to enable this you can mark this product live or draft and then you have your brand and tax category options so you can set all these options in mass as well you can do this together as well so there are some delay times here so this is more relevant to industries like bakeries so if you want that a certain order for a for cake let's say for a certain cake you need at least 24 hours in advance so you can set that the order will be delayed by 24 hours for delivery or dine in or takeaway so you can set different values there are multiple images here then you have the option to relate multiple add-on sets with this product so like a subway burger you can option you can give them the option for different ketchups and so you can have add many as many add-on sets as you want you can relate this product, you can show cross-sell and upsell products, so which show in different areas like the cart and uh, related products, etc. You can also associate tags with this, like the tag of non-veg or veg. And uh, so there are product order forms, which is which gives you questions. So the user can ask questions. So if you want to ask something like, for example, when ordering a cake, you want to ask what name to type on that. So here is the field for that. Going back to the vendors. So when you create a vendor, so you see all these options where you can search a user or you can create users here as well with their password. And these are the users that will have access to this vendor. And you create a vendor simply by adding a logo, a banner image. The minimum required fields are just the name and the address. So this is the address. And uh, so these are the advanced details. I want to show you one more thing, which is linked to the hyperlocal. So we will go back to configuration and we will enable hyperlocal and setting it default to Chandigarh. So going back to restaurants. So we will select the restaurant and go to configuration. Now you see various areas that are marked so we can delete them and redraw them. So you get to draw each geofence. So you get to draw a geofence as custom as possible and then if you want to do it quickly you can just enter a distance and then this will draw a certain radius around it which will offer which will show the restaurant to the people in this area so that's how this works moving forward we have accounting so we will go over it briefly so here are the different orders and their values and their statuses so you can filter them and sort them and you can see all the detailed values you can also export and csv with all the commissions and all the detailed order values you can also see how much money that you have spent with loyalty and how much people have spent using it and then also you can see how much money uh, has been spent using promo codes so in this demo there is no discounts that have been set so but as you go and as you place orders with vendor paid promos or admin paid promos these numbers will increase and similarly you here you see the taxes that you owe the government so you will see the different taxes that you owe and you can filter based on that so yeah Then you have your different vendors, you see their order values and how much money they earned and how much money they earned you in commissions. And this option is for the admin to view all the payout requests placed by the vendor. Here you can create multiple subscription packages for your customers and for your restaurants. So to restaurants, once you add a plan, you can offer them various features like trending so you can give them an option to appear on top of the website and the app and for customers you can give them the features like free delivery so if someone buys this package on a weekly or a monthly basis then they will have free deliveries on their orders and here you see all your customers so these are all the users on the platform and once you click a user you also have the option to give them access to multiple vendors and give them access to 
different sections of the admin panel. So to use using this as an example, we will give this user the permission to this restaurant called Golden Spoon. And so as we have given this user the permission, if you refresh, you will see that the user already has permission to dashboard orders, vendors, promos, various accounting sections and uh, their restaurant Golden Spoon. So this has this access has been given. And once we log in with this user, you will see that they only have access to the relevant sections. And that is the vendor panel. Next, we have the product review section, so which has all the reviews that have been submitted. And here you see all the orders. So these are all the past orders that have been placed on the system. So we will test with orders. And so this is how an order looks like. So here are all the products, their add-ons and categories. These are the different statuses. So you can accept the order and uh, then it proceeds with you know the system that allocates the drivers so the task has been allocated and then it will be assigned to a driver and it will go on go and we will discuss that as we go and so this is how an order looks like you have the option to print this order as well and so ending the admin panel walkthrough with the dashboard so here are all the important key metrics of the platform and your analytics at a glance and all the areas that people have been ordering from and